Hey guys, today in our crash course we will see settings and in settings we will see billing and payment settings, membership and connections, profile settings and get paid. To explore settings, first we will go on our profile and then click on this settings tab. As you can see on this settings page we have different kind of settings. First let's see billing section. Basically we use this billing setting for the sake of buying our connections and for paying our membership fees. In this we have two kind of payment methods. First one is payment card in which we can use Visa card, Mastercard, American Express, Discover and Diners. And second option is PayPal. First let's explore Mastercard settings. If you select this option then you need to enter all your cards information. At the end you need to select the currency and then save this option otherwise you can go for PayPal. Second setting we will see membership and connects. So in user setting we have first option is membership and connects. Let's click it. In membership and connects we have two kind of plans. First is our basic plan which is free. And in this per month we get 10 connects by which we can apply for different jobs. And second plan is our plus plan in which we uh, need to pay $14.99 per month. And in this we get 80 connects per month. By this plan you can also view competitor bids for any kind of job. But initially I guess you should go with the basic plan. When you just get comfortable with the Upwork then you can go for the plus plan. Also, if we are not applying for the plus subscription, we can individually buy our connects for different jobs. Like as you can see, I can buy 80 connects for $12 and 100 connects for $15. Besides this, we can apply for the promo code too. Next, there is a profile setting. In profile setting, we can select the visibility and project references. In visibility, I can select public or private or for Upwork users only. And in project preference, I can select any option as you can see both short term and long term projects, long term projects or short term projects only. Then we can select our experience level, its entry level, intermediate or expert level. Then we can define our categories. And last important thing here we can also mention our specialized profile. In Upwork we have two kind of profiles. One is basic and second one is this specialized profile. And this specialized profile will show our speciality. For example my basic profile show that I can do QA automation. But in my specialized profile I have mentioned that I can work as a database administrator. So under my specialized category I can select the related options. So now I have two kind of profiles on Upwork and I can share my related profile to a specific job. As you can see now I have these two profiles. Last setting we have to explore here is getting paid and this setting will show us that how we can get our earnings from Upwork. We also have our get paid option under our user settings. In this we also have two options one is balance and second is withdrawal details. If we have balance then we can obviously click on our get paid now option and in this withdrawal method we need to add our bank information. But we can also set our pioneer account here. On Pioneer we need to pay $2 per withdrawal but locally we need to pay $0.99 per withdrawal. Now let's set up our local bank settings. Here I need to give my SWIFT code for my specific bank. Let's click on find. And after this I will give my entire information like IBN number, postcode, bank account type and so on. And then after authorization you need to click on the next. So on this account you will receive all your earnings from Upwork. And yes this is it for today. Hope you understand these all settings of Upwork. If this video is helpful for you then please like subscribe and share my channel. Thanks for watching.